guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know who i am i am chelsea ohenawa so today I had to rush to do this video because most people are waiting on what the ircc got to say about the international students off campus working hours so they extended the 30 hours till april 30th which is tomorrow so tomorrow the 30 hours ends so if You've gotten your. I know some jobs have shifts for like they run shifts for a month, some running for a week. Me, I have my shifts for this week and next week. So if you had shifts for this week or next week and it's more than 30 hours and you are still in school, you have to call your manager or your shift supervisor and tell them that IRCC has gone back to the 20 hours. They are looking to take it to 24 hours in fall, which is September so from tomorrow tomorrow is the last day you can do 30 hours off campus so from first may you can only do 20 hours a week i'm going to repeat it you can only do 20 hours a week from first may unless you are on your summer break guys don't complicate yourself so guys for me my term ended this month which is april and i have a long summer break till september so i can work as many hours as i want or let's say 40 hours i don't usually go above 40 hours that is just me even if they say you can work as many hours as you want i just don't want to do more than 40 hours sometimes i just want 30 hours is just okay for me because working too especially here working too hard it just drains you because there's nothing fun to do so it just drains you so much so if you are still in school for this spring if you are even taking just one course you can't do full-time work that's what people have to know if you are taking a course in summer you are still in school and you can't do full-time work you can only work full-time in summer if you have no course if you're not registered for any course and you are not going to class even if you are taking online courses in summer which which is under your school like if you are in school let's say university of waterloo and then you are taking online courses in summer it doesn't mean you can work full time don't make that mistake because it's going to complicate things for you in future so yes if you had your study permits issued to you in january if you had it issued to you in april if you had it issued to you last year it still doesn't matter you are supposed to do 20 hours until september 2024 when you can do 24 hours so the reason the minister gave is every shift full shift is eight hours so they just want to give international students the chance to work three full shifts in a week so that makes it 24 hours and what he said is international students came to canada to school and not to work so our main focus should be on school after school you get your postgraduate work permit and then you can work full time as long as you want so yes please don't complicate things for yourself if you have no classes this summer work 40 hours if you have classes work only 20 hours september we will all do 24 hours of campus but if you have work on campus you can work as many hours as you want even with that i wouldn't recommend working 40 hours on campus because if you're working 40 hours on campus which time do you use for classes it can be questionable in future i'm not an immigration agent so i'm just saying what i think anyway this is just something short i wanted to do for you guys just to update you i'll attach the link to the videos or to the ircc website of them talking about the new changes to the working hours for international students if you want to read more about it and if you have any questions for me you can add me on instagram or message me on instagram chelsea underscore on henewa and if i have an idea of what you want to say or if you want me to explain something to you and i know it i'm going to do it but if i don't i'll just tell you the truth that i don't because i'm not an immigration agent and i only know what i know like what i did that's what i can help you with but if i don't have any idea about it i know some of the things have changed then i can't help you and i'll also suggest to watch as many youtube videos as you can there are so many information on youtube if you want to do something Go on YouTube, go on Google, you'll find it. Most people don't like reading. But every information you want is online. So, 
anytime i get information like this i'll just do a quick video i just go back from work and i hear that this is going on my friend jethro i'll attach the link to our video told me about it and i had to rush and do the video for you guys so i'll come your way same time next week i have so many amazing videos you would like i'll attach it to the description box videos on coming to canada how i did my visa how i things i packed or things you have to pack when you are coming to canada um life in canada i have interviews with other international students from different countries that you can watch to know how life here is so Thank you for watching i'll come your way same time next week please don't forget you can only do 20 hours until 4 which will be 24. don't make a mistake